Good afternoon, Avon High School. It's Friday, November 17th. I'm Dave Orlando. I'm Peyton Boutre, and Ian Ann starts right now. Book Club's November 27th meeting is at St. Mary of the Woods to discuss Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shetterly. Join us at 3.45 p.m. to share your thoughts with the St. Mary's residents. You are res responsible for your own transportation. See Mrs. Getz in room 217 if you have any questions. Any student who is interested in joining the Intramural Bowling Club can pick up the needed forms to join outside of Mr. Cinderella's room, room 254, from the administrative office or in student services. All required forms need to be returned to Mr. Sindelar by Friday, December 1st. Tech Club will be meeting for the first time this year in room 133 on Monday, November 20th at 5 p.m. Any students who are interested in participating are welcome to join. Seniors, the deadline to register and make your own payment for the Washington, D.C. trip is today. It is mandatory that you register with our travel company, Prodigy. To get more information about how to register and make payments, please visit the TRIP website, bit.ly slash avondctrip, or see Ms. Malone or Mr. Henderson. While sitting in your class, do you ever dream about throwing a pie in a select teacher or administrator's face? Well, here's your chance. Leo Club will be running a pie in the face raffle that is happening right now. Students can buy tickets to be placed in a raffle to pick up a select teacher or an administrator from a list to throw a pie in their face. Tickets will be sold during lunch periods and are $1 or $1, $3 or 5 and $5 for 10 The pie in the face will take place on Tuesday, November 21st during the lunch periods. There will be a two winner per lunch period. All proceeds will go towards blankets for pediatric patients in Northeast Ohio area during the holiday season. Once again, here's Patrick McNamee, Kitty Mater, and Kylie Check with an inside perspective to the Avon High School Drama Club's performance of a Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, it's just super impressive to see 16 and 15 year olds performing the complicated words of Shakespeare. Any play they do is difficult, but this is just it's something new being brought to Avon High School and it's exciting and I think everybody would gain from seeing this. Night, oh night with you so black, oh night whenever art when day is not, oh night, oh night, alack, alack. Alack! My name's Kylie Check. I'm in 11th grade and I'm playing Hermia. Um, I am playing Hippolyta, who is queen of the Amazons, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. Hi, I'm Patrick McNamee. I'm a senior uh, and I'm playing Demetrius in A Midsummer's Night's Dream, which is a Shakespeare play. Uh, and Demetrius is one of the four lovers in the show. It's about love. It's about the, the awkwardness of love. It's about the mischief of love. Hermia is the love interest of both Lysander and Demetrius, and her and Lysander run away to the woods, and that's where all the trouble in the place starts, so. Um, Hell Week is like... Hell Week is insane, you know? Okay, so how we rehearse during Hell Week is every single day, we run a full show. It's just really difficult and stressful and none of the actors are allowed to ask for lines or help with any of their lines, so. It's when all the actors are still struggling to learn every single last line, every word, exactly correctly. Um, and Shakespeare, that's difficult to do. With all the tech involved in it. You don't want the audience to see what goes into it, you just want to put on a good story for them. And it's so fun, it's so much fun. So the work that goes into not messing up and making sure everything's perfect, making it sure it is like Shakespeare, time. It's just really difficult and stressful, but it's so worth it in the end, honestly. Hey guys, I'm excited to see you all at the show. Um, come support us because this is what we love to do. 
The performance of Shakespeare has been going on for hundreds of years, and I think it's so important to carry on that legacy and carry on the legacy of acting. Be sure to visit seatyourself.biz slash AvonHS to purchase your tickets for opening night. And now we'll be sending it over to Ben Pocus with Coach Fish on some details about the purple and white game. Joining us right now to talk about the Avon basketball purple and white game is Coach Fish. Coach, can you tell us exactly what the purple and white game is and a little bit about when it takes place? is is we're going to do it on uh, Tuesday, November 21st at 3.30. So this is a little different than previous years. We're going to do it right after school at 3.30. It's uh, the last day before uh, Thanksgiving break. And it's a $5 donation to get into the game. What exactly does that $5 donation get you? And what that gets you is an Eagle's Nest t-shirt. It also gets you some pizza. And then you'll also be, you can sign up to enter raffles, which will give you uh, Indians tickets, Cavs tickets, Brown tickets. And we'll also have some gift cards, like gas cards uh, from restaurants and uh, things like that. Where does that $5 donation go? Yeah, that $5 donation, that's going to, it's in memory and honor of Bruce Galladay, uh, father of a high school student here. So those proceeds are going to go uh, in, his, in his name. So what can students expect to see? What is the highlight of the purple and white game? The main event of the Purple White game, well, we're going to have an all-star game between our boys varsity team and our girls varsity team. It's not going to be girls versus boys. It's going to be a co-ed game. So we're going to have an all-star team pick. that They'll have their own teams, and they'll play a game and go against each other. And then mix in will be raffles and students coming down and uh, a chance to win things. That sounds like a lot of fun. Any final comments for our viewers, Coach Fitch? So it's going to start at 3.30 right after school. So after the, bell, the final bell rings at seventh period, you're going to go down the commons. That's where you'll get your pizza and your uh, Eagle's Nest shirt. Um, then we'll go in the gym. And it only, only lasts about an hour. But again, we'll have a game against the boys and girls team, a co-ed game. And also, again, we're raffling Cavs tickets, Indians tickets, Browns tickets. That will all be a part of that $5 donation. Thank you very much for your time, Coach Fitch. Now I'll send it over to India Greer to talk about those students. The Sleeper. Now students, if you can turn to your page and um, page three in your lessons, we're going to start lesson three right now. Um, Alyssa, Alyssa, wake up. What are, you, what are you doing? Thank you. Now, what I was saying... The Late One. The early one. What are you doing here? I'm reading. The I have a question. Are we ever gonna use this in real life? Why do we have to learn this? Am I actually gonna need to know this when I'm 50 years old? Can we go over the notes again? I forgot to do all of them. Um, is there any way that we could go over that problem again? The phone addict. The Chatters. George Washington, um, Samuel Jack, uh, ladies, <clears throat> ladies, uh, I'm trying to teach you. <clears throat> anyway, um, when we are going to the Constitution, um, the music listener. Alyssa. 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 I can hear your music. Oh, sorry. The Daydreamer. Alyssa, um, I'm teaching over here. Uh, pay, uh, eyes on the board, okay? Okay. And so, what I was saying, um, the Revolutionary War created a great impact on today's the artist. Oh, good job, Alyssa. I see you working on your. What, what is this? 
No, stop. It's my, it's my masterpiece. This is not the most. AP Studio Art. You so not the notes you've been working on. For AP Studio Art. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to throw this away. Away. Oh. Away. Oh. <laughs> the reader. Um, we're going to start this back on tomorrow. I want you to turn all these papers. Um, your assignment's going to be... Um, excuse me. I'm talking. P please put away your book. This is, this is not reading class, okay? This is not AP Lang, whatever you're doing. I want your 2,000 page paper written by Alyssa! Alyssa! The, can I go to my locker? So the problem on the board here, I want you to, yes Alyssa? Maybe? Please use the restroom, it's an emergency. <sighs> All right, but this is your last time. <laughs> The other class worker. Alright, ladies, so now we're gonna start on our research project. Wait, what, what are you guys doing? This is not for this class. This is arts and humanities. What are you, what are you doing? Uh, math class. No, this is not math. This is, this is arts and humanities. Yeah. The hot one. So on the board here, I have an equation. Um, I'm so hot in here. Is there any way that we can turn on the heat? I mean, this. It's set to 65 degrees. It should be pretty. Oh, yeah, it's just so hot. Can I go to my locker and change into a pair of shorts? Go ahead. Good. The cold one. Alright, so now we're gonna get started. I want you guys to bring your books. And is everything okay back there? It's so cold in here. Can we please turn it I mean, it's only like 55 degrees. I think you should be okay. Oh, it's so cold though. Oh. Um, anyway, okay. So cold. All right, Eagles, regional championship tonight. No one can guard me, by the way. Just want to let you know that. Let's send it over to Zach Rimko. I'll say something that I'll say your name and then you say, say your name, Boucher. And then oh, just really? say have a good day. Hey, Yvonne. Are we not saying let's go support? I will. Okay. I mean, I'll say my name and then you say yours and then you say, all right, see ya. What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. What? I'm going to say whatever about the football game and then my name and then you say your name. So I'm just saying my name and that's it. That I'm, good with, say, I'm good with that. You say, I'm Payne Boucher. Have a great day, Eagles. Have a great weekend, Eagles. Playoff four. I, okay. Right. Have a great so weekend, three. Eagles. Got it. Oh, is it playoff three? Okay. All right. Camera is rolling. All right. Closing. Take Come out and support the Eagles tonight at Ridgeville at 7.30. I'm David Orlando. I'm Payne Boutre. Have a great weekend, Eagles.